Terrence Ferguson, the youngest import to ever play in the National Basketball League. We'll get to that answer in a second. Oh, that's why. That is some quick, explosive acceleration. Terrence Ferguson showing you why. He was looking to be a one and done going to this committed to the University of Arizona. It was unfortunate not to get that one. Ferguson for three. That's good. Well, that'll get him going. It's Conrad. Good defense by Ferguson. Nice pass to Ferguson. He lays it in. He has gotten himself into the game. Good cut. Ferguson got a sweet looking shot. Gets that thing off quickly. How are you going to pick up a few wins in a row? Oh, Everyone's so even. Catch and shoot for Ferguson. And it's three, and they're back in front. Oh, big three for Terrence Ferguson. Oh, that man's feeling good. He's the man with the hot hand at the moment. Ferguson, he's feeling it too. From outside or in. Oh, tough finish there by Terrence Ferguson. Surely he connects instead with Ferguson. Sends Blanchfield to the floor. They've caught him for the flop. He's been impressive tonight, Terrence Ferguson. He's 18 years of age. Trying to put the squeeze on. Great jump by Jacobson to Ferguson. Yes! And one to come. I don't know what it is about this 36ers team and this arena, but they love a comeback, don't they? They sure do. The fact they haven't got Creek, they've still got a massive hope, and that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Ferguson turn. He has a quick release, doesn't he? He does. Puts up a tough yes, shot yes, yes. and a massive rebound pulled down by the 18-year-old Terrence Ferguson. Four-point game. Sobe flicks it back out. Ferguson danced his way inside. Oh, the kid's got some good. He's got some touch. As he caught the thing and turned the corner, I thought he was about to go for the jam. 17 plays, 12. Last two minutes of the opening quarter. Ferguson says, why not? Sweet shooting from young Terrence Ferguson. Way feeding into... Played in Lithuania in the off-season from the NBL. Ferguson has just had a crack at Worthington. Did you have anything on Worthington? I've got on more. I'm, I'm watching you guys. Thanks. Wow. Got the shove. Hey, hey, Unsportsmanlike foul number six, two possession. Sherry Wright just having a word with Ferguson. Tell it him. Yeah, you can do it. That's a veteran move, and this is what Wertho does. He yeah. will get under your skin. That's what he wants to do. And good move by Worthington. They'll go down the other line. They'll shoot it. There's no question Wertho was part of that as well. He got tied up and pushing around. But... Well, Wertho's going to hear it here from Adam. I was just going to say, he's going to get that for the rest of the night now. Not that it'll worry him too much. And the veteran, 310th game. As compared to young Terrence Ferguson. So, so a minute 20, and the lead stands at eight. Sobe, Drimic, yes, no. And it would not go down. Ferguson, the crowd will love this. A little wave to Wertho with that one. He let him know, didn't he? Unsportsmanlike foul, and two shots, two points is all they got out of it. Yeah, that man, Mitch Creek's just telling him. Man, and he's also put up six points on the board and helped this Adelaide team to its 10 point lead. As they work the perimeter, oh, he's up with a shot, Ferguson. He, has the foul been called? It has. Thank you. Well, this is like a carbon copy of the first quarter. Cairns played well for five minutes. Adelaide were okay. Then Adelaide came rapiding home in that last six or five minutes in the second in the first quarter. And exactly the same is happening here. Cairns got back into the game. And now Adelaide is just clawing this away. That's the second foul they've done on a jump shot. So they're just living on the free throw line. They're going to get this out to 12 and 13. They really have to get composure here, Cairns. And the big man 
Matt Joy out to three fouls already too, so early problems there for Cairns. He's got the hot hand here, great pass down low. Ferguson was partially blocked but fouled by Wagstaff and he'll shoot a couple of free throws. A big inclusion, Terence Ferguson missing a game through suspension. Here's Drimmick. Picks it out, Ferguson from long range. Terence Ferguson dropping the bomb. Green confidence against Illawarra and Ferguson goes upstairs off the pass from Randall. Here's Randall. Oh, it'll be a little awkward. Crowd wanted a foul. Ding. Ferguson now in the corner, and Terence Ferguson knocks it down. Terence Ferguson, the 18-year-old, makes his first start of the season. What's Joey hoping to achieve? Well, he's dynamic, and when he's on the floor, he makes plays. And when you lose four in a row, you got to shake things up. Ferguson, made to work by Gibson outside for Daniel Johnson for three. He has five points for the game early, and Jermaine Beal. <laughs> Terence Ferguson. Oh, how's the confidence now, Terence? Hey, that is exactly what he needed. Hey, hey, no, Here's Terence Ferguson. Ferguson makes tonight's crowd sit silent. Daniel Johnson, one of the stars tonight in singlet 21 there for Adelaide. He missed a couple of games with a hamstring injury, but what a return. Terence Ferguson, come on! 18 years of age and delivering highlights like that. Look where he takes off from, and this is what this kid is capable of. People have said, huh, is he going to go in the first round? You think so? What do you think? Bang! He is well and truly bound for the NBA draft. But first, there's a season with the Sixers. Terrence Ferguson popping and draining. A shot from just inside the three-point line. And it's Randall trying to up the tempo here. Quickly down court. Ferguson propping and popping another three-pointer. You just see here wide open, transition slow. And what a week it's been for Adelaide. A win against Brisbane and a win against the Kings in Sydney. You know the first person you look around to that you're going to rely on is that person you've gone out of training. And there's Ferguson on cue for us. The man who was involved. Putting a bomb in. They've got their first point for 36ers. Randall splits the middle. Flicks it out. For three. Foot on the line. It's going to count from Terence Ferguson. The 18-year-old import who's decided to come to Australia to play rather than play college in the US. Come here and play professionally rather than go to the US college system. Saturday night, prime time, NBL around the country for the alley oop. He was fouled. A well executed play by the Adelaide 36ers. That pass was just thrown a little bit low. He can throw it up anywhere around the square for Ferguson. He's just got that length and athleticism that he'll go get it and tuck it in. 44%. Oh, it's an absolute hunter's night as we see Terence Ferguson get an easy one from Sobey. The 18 year olds has more NBA scouts in the venue tonight. There are four of them here, representing San Antonio, Detroit, and Minnesota. But it's opportunity not just for Ferguson, other players on the court. Often here are scouts going to look for one player and coming home with another. Sobey, just short, the putback from Ferguson. The big play, the defensive end, then knocks down a huge three. Seven the difference. They get it back to single figures. Now nine, Ferguson. Up to six points for the game. 27 points last Saturday night. And then 18 on Monday against oh. Cairns. Ferguson looks good. Oh boy, that looks bad. That was straight, that was dead straight out of his fingers. He was just denying Jerome Randall the ball on those inbound plays, making sure that someone else advances the ball up the court. Ferguson, what an athlete he is. He's pretty happy with it too. Oh, he's, he's just got such a clean stroke when he shoots that basketball. And DJ gets involved. 
That's a fantastic pass there by Terence Ferguson. Just all their bigs as well. That's part of that is due to the work that they're doing on the glass. And what a catch and finish by Jerome Randall in traffic. Q Jerome Randall. Oh, get up. Oh, and he rolls into two, Ferguson. And that we saw them being maybe a little bit too smart at times early when but that was just the right thing to do ferguson can do plenty he hands it off to creek in the perfect place and it's a one point four game and the adelaide 36ers have come from the bottom of the pile and on this big friday night they are on top of the world well, one of 15 from the three at half time the other night so that's two Great shots to start the game. And Ferguson to the answer. How pretty was that? He hit two from two the other night. He really did. He's been starting to look really good and, and much more comfortable on the floor for the 36ers since entering that starting lineup. Hodgson, nice move. Beat the truck and really good pass as well. Hodgson. Ferguson for three. That was nice. got the three. That was very, very nice. And there's a long ball for Ferguson. Watch out below! Here comes Terrence. And you love that from the 36ers. This is what we missed last Sunday against Melbourne United. Trying to dare the 36ers to shoot it. And Randall does! How about it, Rob? Sobe. That was good all the way. This game's starting to really crank up. Three points, thank you very much. He's fourth of the evening. This is not the way things were meant to go. Wow. Barilla Warren at the start of the half. As Terrence Ferguson joins the party now. And they are reveling in this. It's out to 30 points. The Adelaide Arena knew it was coming. TK. TK Ferg went video game mode. Yeah. Dillard in the lineup in the backcourt. Underway. The North Shore Events Centre. And Dillard picks up Jerome Randall straight away. Shaili in the night of point guard again. Played really well defensively against Travis Trice of the Kent's Taipans. And that is Terence Ferguson. And he is a name on everybody's lips. It's Ferguson with the ball, catch and shoot. Oh, wow. Terrence Ferguson with five quick points. Got to make him put the ball on the floor. Catch and shooting is his forte. Game. And their bench has been outscoring opponents by 15. That's Ferguson to the cup. Terrence Ferguson is all class at just 18 years of age. Answers it once again. This time he gets to come to summer, so a little, little break, break there. I always wonder why we don't get more talent down here with the great weather in this part of the world. Watch Oh! Nathan Sobey to Terrence Ferguson. Sobey Norman, the beneficiary. That time he hooks up Terrence Ferguson with a pretty lot. Round 14 game between the Adelaide 36ers and New Zealand Breakers is done and dusted. From woe to go, the visitors have led in the North Shore Events Centre. Yeah, here course over Terence Ferguson. Third game in a row where the Adelaide 36ers are piled on the points over 100. Can this team get any better or you guys, is this, is this the best that uh, what the Adelaide 36 has got? Oh, no, so we, hey, we, we're working to get the, uh, the best that we can and we'll keep working no matter what. No matter how many wins we get, we'll try to get better every game. So with number one spot firmly in your guys' position at the moment, what about you as an individual? Opting to come down to play for Adelaide instead of college at the beginning of the season, how has that helped your game develop? Oh, man, it's, it's crazy. It's unbelievable that I'm, I'm actually here playing in a professional league, but, you no, know, my teammates got my back. They uh, put confidence on my head, tell me to go out and play my game. So I have fun with it, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep playing and try to get wins. Man, fantastic performance tonight. We're really looking forward to seeing how everything goes for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Shout out to Guy's mom. Rest in peace.
Can anyone stop Adelaide? The top of the table 36ers have only been beaten once in the past 11 games. But that team was Melbourne United. And they're their opponents tonight as the playoffs get ever closer. It's a packed Titanium Security Arena tonight in Adelaide. Another one, a hot one for you. A big Thursday night of NBL action ahead. Certainly Majuk, if he can be a powerful force at both ends of the court, it's going to make a big difference and give them a chance to win. And it'll be a long night for Melbourne United if they don't come up with those defensive rebounds. They did a good job to be able to cause the miss. They have to get all over those boards. Terence Fergus Obi, 18 at the half. Yeah. He's only got two so far. Can he go to the next level and go and have a 30, 40 point oh. game? Starting to get a bit more physical here. Four fouls for Ty Wesley, but if I'm Ferguson, I'm looking around and saying, hey, DJ, is that your man? How about a bit of communication and let me know that I'm about to get pounded? by Ty Wesley. Joey Wright saying exactly the same thing yep. right in front of us now. Yep. But the run continues. And the Adelaide 36ers are the team to beat in the NBL in 2017. They win 100 to 73. And they're pumped about the way it's all finished here tonight. Capacity crowd. They are loving their basketball in Adelaide right now. The 36ers prevail again. That's 11 of the last 12. And they are on top of the heat. Speaking of turnarounds, the Adelaide 36ers have rocketed to the top of the table and tonight get a chance to prove their championship credentials. Well, over 13,000 tickets sold for this one. The Adelaide 36ers, they go a big way to proving their championship credentials. The top of the table, Adelaide 36ers, with a big win in the West. Brad Robbins, the crowd silent in this venue. The 36ers came and they got the job done. Hello and welcome to Titanium Security Arena in Adelaide. Just four rounds left in the NBL season and two teams on a mission meet tonight. The Adelaide 36ers trying to cement top spot and the home playoff advantage that comes with it. And Brisbane desperate for a win to keep their season alive. Joey Wright left his big guns out there as well to start this last quarter. 81-52 with a quarter left to play. Sobey, there's the alley-oop, Ferguson under the bucket, it's showtime. Terence Ferguson dropped from the rafters to catch that one. How about the athleticism from Ferguson? He could have dunked that one with his elbows, just kissed the rim on the white way by. Not a bad way to score your first points in the game. Ferguson. Well, it's not a fait accompli. They will lose Ferguson next season, but it's likely the 36ers will lose him. He'll head to the NBA. There's no, no questioning why he's keen to get back on the floor. He's got the 22 points. Uh-oh. He is starting to enjoy his time in Australia, Terence Ferguson. He's quickly taken away from them. Johns gave it away. Wow. And the big dunk. T. Ferguson. There's that Ferguson throwdown again, just rising up from one step. Just incredible athleticism. The one hand throwdown. Oh, oh the uh, alley oop again. And one. It's the Terence Ferguson show. No idea how they got, a, got away with this one. They were just forcing that one up there. Terence Ferguson. <laughs> It was a good spot by Doyle, just saying that there's no way Sean Bruce is going to be able to rise up with Terence underneath the hood. But Here we go. He might actually add to the whole arch reel. Flicked away by Kendall. Go on, Tommy. Seen some great imports come and really dominate the NBL and put on a show. Uh, not a lot have been teenagers. This is new territory for the NBL and for Americans coming here. Drops both. Well, they have 
been obliterated, the Brisbane Bullets. Destroyed in this game. Their season all but destroyed now. But it's all about the Adelaide 36ers. Top of the NBL ladder, making a statement after statement after statement. They are the team to beat. I thought that was a bad shot. He hasn't scored the last two games. He has now tonight. And Logue had to count it. Glidden. The Mitchell. And Terence Ferguson strips him. Leaves him naked. Sobe. To Ferguson. Nice shot, Terence Ferguson. Rimmick races to nine points. He's got three from range at 100%. Pans have done a great job taking care of the ball, Matty. Just the six turnovers to the Sixers, 17, as we see nearly another one there. And that's a big reason why the Snakes, they're right in this game. Watson. There's a way to thread the hole. Play straight. The uh, 11 minute and four point game on Thursday night didn't do much for his average. Jerome Randall. Hawks shooting the ball at 53% from the field in the opening term. It's down to 39 at this stage. A four of 16. As Terrence Ferguson gets an important confidence booster with his first point. And that one, Tommy, looked a whole lot better than that first one. Here's Creek spinning, wheeling and dealing. No! Too hard off the window, but that's how you finish the play. Look out. These young greyhounds can jump, they can run, and wow, can they finish. Exciting basketball by the 36ers right now. But here's Clark against Ferguson. Blocking <laughs> well, foul called on Oscar Foreman. It hasn't been his night. He's bordering on a technical as well. As you see here, Rodney Clark working up just off screen, but looked very close. Let's see here. The correct call stuck his butt out and caught Terence Ferguson on the way round. Good call. And Adelaide out of their comfort zone here at the moment. They lead by six, but the Hawks have grabbed the momentum away. And Jerome Randall off the floor, maybe not to return. Well, there's a big play. The teenager Terence Ferguson's got all three. And that's been the story of the Adelaide 36ers all season. When one guy goes down, the next man steps up. Terence Ferguson with a huge knockdown. But make no mistake, the Adelaide 36ers have made a statement here in game one. And they put the icing on a very rich cake. What a finish from Adelaide. Doyle's points waved away, but the fans don't mind because they have prevailed here by 15. Full time in Adelaide. It's the 36 is 93, the Hawks 78, and they are warming favourites for the title. Ferguson with five on the clock, fills up the three. And again, great start for him, but it came from Jerome Randall. Got a piece of the paint, found the open Ferguson. Hawks reach a century. 101, the most by any team in a road playoff game since 2011 on well, the Wildcats got 101 in New Zealand Ferguson, nice finish for his first field goal six point margin well, Adelaide played their first game of the season against the Illawarra Hawks and they're going to play their last game of the season against the Illawarra Hawks they've come from Hall fought but the Hawks are going to the grand final they have upset the regular season champions on their home floor and Rodney Clark and the Illawarra Hawks have prevailed here by eight points.